hi everyone so in this video we're going to see the bios basic input output system so we're gonna see the bios chip pin configuration so all about the bios we're gonna see the bios schematic or circuit diagram we're gonna see also how to program the bios using the program appropriate program okay so we're gonna see all bios basics in this video so the bios definition the bios basic input output system is a program that computer uses to launch the post or power on self test after it is powered on it also manages the flow of data between the computer's operating system and attached devices like the keyboard hdd or hard disk drive the ltd or optical disk drive etc so as you can see here there is a difference between bios and mosfet you should pay attention the bios always has eight pins the same as the mosfet but the chip or the size or the shape of the diode is bigger than the MOSFET. Okay, so you should always pay attention to this point. And of course, we find the BIOS always near to the ICH and Super IO. Okay, so here, as you can see, this is the BIOS circuit diagram. Okay, as you can see here, this is the circuit di diagram, also, also the SPI means BIOS. So as you can see here, the BIOS contain eight pins as you can see okay this is eight pins bios of course there is other types of bios this is u26 this is the reference of the bios in the motherboard here we have the part number of the bios as you can see and here we have so for each pin the signal the name of the signal okay the first pin the second the third the fourth etc so pin number three is the right product as you can see it is always connected to plus three volt okay and as you can see here it is connected to plus three volt via this resistor okay so always you can find three volt in the pin number three of the bios here we have the vss means the ground okay as you can see always the pin number four for every eight pin bios is connected to the ground and of course here we have other pins for the clock for the the hold and here we have the VDD, the, the P number 8 is connected to VDD, of course the VDD equal always 3.3 volt in every motherboard. So to know whether you, the BIOS receive the power or not, you should check the P number 8 for every BIOS I see. So now we're gonna see how to program the BIOS. So basically, the BIOS contain a software or a program inside it, okay? So if this program is corrupted, you should reprogram, reprogram it again using a programmer. As you can see here, we have two kinds of programmer. Okay, this programmer, you should remove the BIOS from the motherboard and connect it to this programmer via a support and then you connect the program to the computer and then you launch the program and then you can reprogram the BIOS. By using this programmer, programmer in the right, as you can see, you can program the BIOS without removing it. You can program it directly from the motherboard.